Iran unveiled its locally developed Bivar 373 long-range air defense system on 21 August, indicating it is continuing the program even though it is now receiving S-300 systems from Russia. On the National Defense Industry Day, which is celebrated in Iran on August 21, Rouhani, accompanied by Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Deccan visited the exhibition at the Iran Aviation Industries Organization at the Defense Ministry, which showcased the latest achievements in the air defense industry including the domestically built Bivar 373 air defense system. The long-range mobile Bivar 373 air defense system has been designed and constructed by Defense Ministry scientists and experts, in cooperation with the country's Qatam al Air Defense Base. The homegrown system was successfully test-fired in August 2014. It is similar to the Russian S-300 and is capable of hitting targets at a high altitude. The new system uses a phased array radar like Russian 96L6 radar for tracking aerodynamic targets and ballistic missiles in medium to long ranges mounted on the Zafar heavy truck. In May, Degan announced that Iran had completed development of the domestically produced Bavar 373 air defense system, with mass production expected to be launched later this year. Hassan Rouhani also observed the latest achievements and developments in air defense technology, including fighter and transport aircraft, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. The president was also briefed on the progress in the designing and manufacturing of the first national turbojet engine. Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Dukin said the country is not going to purchase the Russian-made S-400 air defense missile system, though Moscow has offered to sell it to Tehran. He also commented on the S-300 system, which Moscow had undertaken to sell to Tehran under a 2007 contract. However, he noted Iran's military defense complex needs an inflow of the most advanced foreign ideas and technology and operationally ready military equipment to ensure the gradual development. That is why the country had signed an agreement with Russia on the delivery of its S-300 air defense systems, Mahmoud Shori told Sputnik. On the whole I don't see any problems for Iran continuing its purchase of Russian S-300 under the existing contract, while simultaneously developing and showcasing the achievements of its military defense industry. He added, the top priority for Iran's military defense complex is to maximize the independent production of its own strategic armament.